Do you track blood oxygen on your Amazfit T-Rex 2? What do you think? Is it accurate? Don't worry, I am going to answer that question in this blood oxygen accuracy test video. I will compare the Amazfit T-Rex 2 with an oximeter, Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 and Garmin 245 Music. I will also be showing you how you can enable and disable blood oxygen monitoring on your watch. First, let's compare the T-Rex 2 with an oximeter. I am going to wear the watch on my left hand and the oximeter on my middle finger. As you can see, Amazfit T-Rex 2 is almost as accurate as the oximeter. Now it's time to switch the watch and oximeter to the right hand. It's because an oximeter provides a more accurate reading on the right hand. Given it has the same sensor as the GTR3, I expect a pretty good performance from the Amazfit T-Rex 2. As you can see, the watch is performing well even on the right hand. It's time to compare the watch's SPO2 tracking accuracy with Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. I'll also be wearing an oximeter along with both the watches. So let's start with the test. As you can see, results are pretty good. Next up, I'll compare the watch with Garmin 245M. It's a pretty good watch when it comes to sports and health tracking. As you can see, Amazfit T-Rex 2 is neck to neck with Garmin 245 Music. Hopefully, all the doubts that you have related to the T-Rex 2 blood oxygen accuracy have been resolved. Now let's talk about some blood oxygen monitoring settings that you can use to monitor blood oxygen on T-Rex 2. To access the settings, open ZEP, go to Profile, Amazfit T-Rex 2 and tap on the Health Monitoring option. Scroll below, you will find the blood oxygen settings at the bottom. As you can see, there are two options provided to you. First one is to turn on automatic blood oxygen tracking. The second one is to set a blood oxygen threshold limit so you can get an alert if your SpO2 level decreases. If you don't need to track your blood oxygen or don't care about it, then I would recommend turning automatic tracking off. I say that because it is a major drain on the battery life. You would still be able to track your blood oxygen using the dedicated blood oxygen or one tap measurement app. Now it's time to go, but here is a question for you. Do you find the blood oxygen metric on smartwatches useful? And how often do you use it? Tell me in the comment down below, I'll be replying to all of you. Also, please subscribe to our channel as I will be coming out with a full in-depth Amazfit T-Rex 2 review very soon. Consider pressing the like button if you found the video to be useful.